we're doing splendidly right now. Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name is Miley. If you are new here, I do a new DIY video every single week. And this week I am going to be turning the back of my SUV into a camper. My husband Jordan and I really like to go camping, but we're kind of lazy. We don't do the whole tent thing. We usually just roll out our sleeping bags, toss them in the back of our Forerunner and call it a day. But I have been wanting to turn this into a more comfortable slash functional option for when we go camping. Also, I do have a slight hidden agenda. I am hoping by doing this project, I will slowly chip away at convincing my husband to let me buy a bus, convert it into a home, sell everything we have, and hit the road. So let's get started building this camper. Okay, so I am in my studio and I don't think I've ever done this in a video before. Usually I have everything designed out before I start filming, but I thought this was the perfect project to sit down and in real time with you guys design this out. This is a pretty straightforward project and what I have in mind is pretty simple, so this shouldn't take that long to design out. Over the last 30 minutes or so, I have been collecting all of the measurements that I need so that I can plan this out. This is in no way going to be scale accurate, but I just draw these out to get a sense of what I'm gonna do. So in the back of my Forerunner, there is this shell thing. I think a lot of SUVs have this. It basically pops up and creates a platform in between the two wheels. I wasn't originally planning on using it, but the more I thought about it, the more I liked the idea of using using this because it's going to cut down on the amount of wood and just overall the amount of things I'm gonna have to build for this project and just make this project a bit easier. But the one issue with this shell is the weight capacity really isn't that high. So what I am going to be doing is building something to go underneath this and this is just going to be a simple little frame to just help support some of the weight in the center. What I'm gonna have to do is build a platform between this shell and the back door. So I am going to make the top of this 53 inches by eight inches. Frame is going to be like that. And then I'm going to put the legs at 45 inches so that these can rest nicely on a nice even surface. And then this should make it so that I will be able to easily slide things under. And then I'm gonna have to build another frame that's kind of an interesting shape to work around the features. So I'm gonna have to make it skinny and then it's gonna do a nice 90 degree angles right straight out. And it's gonna be 40 inches right through here and then 50 inches back here. So it's gonna kind of look like that. Okay, so that is kind of a quick rundown of what I have planned. I'm now going to do the boring part off camera and go figure out my cut list so that I know how much wood I have to go out and get. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I figured out my cut list. Honestly, figuring out your cut list and how much lumber you need is really boring. It's just a lot of simple math, but I somehow always screw it up. So I usually just get like a little bit extra um, than what I think I need. But I believe I need seven two by fours at eight feet. Seven two by fours at eight feet. And then I'm gonna get a three fourths inch piece of plywood um, and then I but I just need to see what sizes they have available and then I'll pick out which one I need accordingly so let's go Up early tomorrow and just hit the ground running. Night! 
I have already had two cups of coffee, a latte, and now I'm drinking a thing called Morning Buzz. It's already so hot out and it's 8 a.m., but I'm hoping, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna push through this, hopefully without any breaks. That's my goal. Let's go. Yay, I am back building stuff. I took a little bit of a break from building things unintentionally, but it felt so good this week to be back with my power tools. And as I mentioned, it was very hot this day. Well, actually, it's just hot every single day where I live in the summer. It's so humid and gross. Let's just say when I buy my bus and Jordan and I live on it year round, I will be traveling north in the summer because I do much better in cooler climates. So since it was hot out and I quickly lose motivation and heat, I had to build this project in a slightly different way. Usually with most projects, I'll take it one step at a time. So for example, I'll have my cut list and I'll go through and I'll get all of my cuts done and then I'll go through and do all of the drilling and so on and so forth. But with this one, I just decided to take it one platform at a time. So I quickly built the first little frame for under the shell and seeing that done so quickly definitely motivated me to keep going, not take a break and build the next platform. And I worked from the back of the SUV all the way to the front. Most of the time when I'm building things, I usually use pocket holes to put everything together. And since most of these platforms were so skinny, it wasn't really possible to use pocket holes, but but I used pocket holes where I could. This project was just supposed to be fun, simple, and I definitely wasn't trying to do anything fancy, so I was okay with things not being as polished as I usually try to make them. But I actually learned a lot from doing this project. If I ever did a van or bus makeover, I would really approach it in a totally different way after doing this project. When you're working with such a small space, every little inch can make the biggest difference and I am happy with how this project turned out but if I could go back I would probably change a few things just to make storage that much nicer and easier. Um, so I'm a ding dong and this frame altogether was supposed to be 17 inches and I was not paying attention and I cut these at 17 inches. These were supposed to be cut at 14 inches because then once you add the width of these guys it makes it 17 inches. So now this is 20 inches, but I am going to leave it and then just adjust this back frame. Oopsies. See guys, I told you one month of not building things and I'm already making dumb, dumb mistakes with my cuts. I guess that whole, if you don't use it, you lose it applies to this situation, but this ended up actually being a happy accident. Having that platform just a bit bigger made it so that I could put some baskets in that platform and I can access all of that really easily by lifting up the plywood pieces I put on top. Oh my gosh, there is this hawk. It has been like circling me all day. It's coming for me. I speak bird. Okay guys, everything is built and all I have left to do is wait for the mattress I ordered to get delivered. Um, it should be today. I got a text message and everything saying it should be delivered today. And while I wait for the mattress to get delivered, I'm going to run out and try to find some storage bins to fit under here so that hopefully that will help make everything super easy to access and help us stay organized when we go camping. So let's go to the store. I'm gonna get more coffee. I 
I just got home and I, th I think I think my mattress might be here. I think it might be here. I'm now just creeping on this UPS guy. Creeping away. Okay, that was perfect timing. Like literally as I drove down my driveway, I saw FedEx pull up and it had my mattress. But before I get to setting this bad boy up, I am gonna show you what I got. So these bins right here are Perfect. These slide perfectly right under there. Boom, you can't even see them anymore. So, I got two of them. Those slide right under there. And then there's still some space, so I also got two of these guys. They're just little plastic bins to fill up the rest of the space. And then I got this guy because I thought it would be really cute and nice for like silverware. And the last thing, I got this sheet set because I don't have a full size mattress so I don't have any full size sheets. Okay, so now it is time to set up this mattress and see if I have to make any adjustments to the platforms and just see how this whole thing turns out. Yee, let's go. Okay. Now this should just fit very nicely. Right, right in here. Oh, look at that. That is a great fit. La, 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 la. Okay, it's upside down, so I now have to figure out how to flip it around. Oops. We're doing splendidly right now. Okay, all done. We did it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Look at that fit. I don't think that can be any more perfect. Oh yeah. This is so much more comfortable. This is gonna be great. This is gonna really game changer, guys. Game changer. Night, everybody. Ugh. It's the next day. I know that was kind of an abrupt cut, but I got in here, laid down yesterday, and my camera ended up dying. But it ended up being perfect timing because when I got this mattress in here, I was like, great. Now what? I am going camping this weekend, so I am going to make this bed, pack up a few of the things I know we're gonna need, and then show you guys the final project. So let's roll the unclips. And this is it guys. I know I already said this, but man, this thing is a serious game changer. And my original goal of convincing Jordan to let me buy a bus, I'm pretty sure is achieved. He's already talked about all the different kinds of trips we can take and how excited he is to travel. So sooner rather than later, I will have my bus. I'm so happy with how this project turned out. Popping this mattress and these platforms in and out of my SUV is so easy and convenient. This will make camping and traveling in here so much nicer. As always, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys.